plot twist. <laughs> We're moving. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. We're going to harvest some root vegetables because Cater Potato is here. Yeah. And we're going in. <laughs> Come on along. All right. So this is this is the potatoes. They're pretty much dead. There are a couple of green ones on the top. I figured if something wanted to eat them, they could. And uh, Cater Potato, tell them hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the, the gross green one. <laughs> Um, and we're going to see what else we can see. This year we let pretty much everything die back. And uh, here we go. So we're doing pretty well here. These are sizable. They're a lot bigger than last year. And the thing I love most about the Ruth Stout method, which is just planting them under this hay. Oh, thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Is that they're right on the surface. Um, that does mean we're finding some that are green or have a little bit of green on them, but overall we're doing pretty good. And this is, you know, we didn't like compost or anything down here on this. We did nothing. Like there had been hay here before. I just laid potatoes down and then covered them with more straw. This earth is so rich with worm castings. There's another one right there. There's wow. Two more. Oh yeah, there's another one. These are respectable potatoes. Yes. This is exciting. When I'm telling the people what they may find here, I'm definitely gonna put potatoes in that. Uh, you're definitely gonna get potatoes. Uh, yes. Oh man. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is far amazing. distant from what I expected after two years of yeah. not doing it right. Yeah. See, this homestead, she taught us. It's even smaller than Found me. up our potato. <laughs> We've got sweet potatoes this year. I was like, dare I check, dare I check. And then Megan pulled. These out. <laughs> this is like a big fish thing. Hold that up, baby. Hold that up. I'm so proud oh of these. Oh my God. Wow. So set it and forget it is a really good uh, thing, huh? Apparently so. We got beans. Oh, so many beans. I'm not planting beans next year. These have to dry out all the way. They're pinto. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're definitely, oh. Definitely our this best year. I concur. That's where we started out. This is so cool. Hello from the future. <laughs> <laughs> In the next scene, I'll have a flannel. It's a great jacket. I love that jacket. That it's nice? really flattering. So important to her. They're moving. Oh, they got that in the beginning. Yeah, we're moving. You didn't say it. <laughs> you didn't say it at all. We just started talking. They're moving. We're moving. Hence the boxes. Ah, plot twist. Um, so much Bring is you happening up to speed right now. Here. You know, I'm gonna. Two minutes in, she hasn't mentioned a dang thing. But, okay, so this is the part where I'll put in the um, pictures from the listing. Basically, it's been a chaotic effing year, and my mom was ill in the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. and uh, medication can be rough on a person, so she was hospitalized, and then it was August, and now here we are, and um, basically, she'd rather not live alone <clears throat> right now. I'd rather her not live alone right now. I'd rather her Bailey? not live alone. Bailey coming too? Bailey's coming too. Yeah. Yeah, the little dog. Yeah. Kate is over here. 
Say hi, Cade. <laughs> we're pulling our resources with mom and we're buying a 10 acre homestead there's a barn is it isn't there horse stables i was gonna say currently it's an equestrian farm we are not yet horse people don't care oh i definitely want a donkey i want a donkey Mom wants a donkey. Does she? Oh, yeah, we're gonna get a donkey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just gotta, gotta convince Bill on the docks. Because <laughs> <laughs> duck eggs are awesome. And you know, Bill loves ducks. He wants ducks. He's been talking about a water feature forever. Bill definitely doesn't want ducks. They sh everywhere and they make a hell of a lot of noise. I want wild ducks that we can later eat. I like duck eggs. Do you? I do. <laughs> I really like they duck leave, eggs. Ducks leave their eggs freaking anywhere they yeah, want. Yeah, just make sure that they're fresh. But, you know, I do like Do you a think duck this egg. is how Easter eggs started? <laughs> like the whole, my, my birds lay their eggs everywhere. Let's go find them. Possibly. I don't know. I think that's how it started. It's a pretty plausible explanation. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to give somebody a really good gift. Are you leaving that all as is? Oh, I'm not going to move it. It feels petty. The shed and the, the thing. Oh, the thing. do you know how much it's going to cost me to move those? I could buy a new one for what it would cost me to move those. Fair enough. So there's a chicken coop, there's a shed, and there's the goat house. And there's Three elderberry plants and two American beauty berry bushes. You're leaving those? Yeah. Bushes. Well, we'll find it again. We'll find it again, right? We'll I'm not... start. We can, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Only stuff I want to really pull up is stuff I have duplicates of. I might have had a moment with some golden seal and some toad lilies. Wherein Bill said something like, um, don't you have one of those? And I said, no. And then I brought it home and asked him to plant it next, next to the other <laughs> one. <laughs> He's so graceful, that man. <laughs> there are things that I do for my husband out of love that he does not necessarily understand. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, to you. And while it's theater, I love him. I can't help myself. I'd like it if it were his birthday every day because I celebrate that man. Happy birthday, dear Bill. I think, mm. I think he's got this notion that we'll keep each other busy and only one of us will need bail. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an incredible year of transitions, of <clears throat> growth. I had to learn a bunch of stuff about flexibility this year. A bunch of stuff because nothing went as planned. And now my goats are going to have a stable situation. Balance. Pun intended. Absolutely. <laughs> Bill and I have been saying that to each other for like a year and a half now. Yeah. We need a stable situation for those goats. <clears throat> Sometimes just like that. Sometimes it sounds like it, this one's really bad too. We would like a stable situation for those goats. It is really bad, that's right? Yes, that's it's <laughs> <laughs> So we're starting the gardens from the ground up. Oh, that was awful. I'd make such a good dad. <sighs> I'm not growing beans next year. <laughs> There's chicken coops already. There's two beautiful chicken coops. They were used for meat birds. Oh, so you got a lot of room. We're going to do meat birds this year. We're going to get more chicken. It's and like, to go with the ducks. Like a 12 to 14 week commitment on the chickens. 
And Jen said she would teach us how to harvest. And uh, I have two freezers now. One of them's full of beans. Anyone want beans? Anybody want some beans? They're really good beans. He's a great guy. He's yeah, a great guy. He's wonderful. You should get ducks. I, I want to film you having this conversation with Bill because it will be highly entertaining. I'm just going to bring over two ducklings. Oh. No ducks. So we have to like really talk this through. But we're definitely getting a donkey. Yay, donkey! donkey! Thank you so much for hanging out for our very first highly successful root crop event. Coffee talk. Hells yeah. We will keep you in the loop as best we can. Uh, but we'll see you at the new house. We'll see you at the new house. We'll see you at the new house. Catch you up soon. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>